Cottage by the banks of the Thames. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Fulham taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed. Must be! Oh, and touched onto the frame of the goal. And a Liverpool throw in forthcoming. And a good looking ball clears it away. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, it's a 4 5 1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward, and the other two sitting deeper. Also, watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Wilson, well read to ease the pressure. Salah. Now he must favour the cross. Still trying to make something happen. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Salah. Salah does thrive on veering in field. Got to it easily, the keeper. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Did really well to get through. Might be dangerous. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Now sending it in. Did well to clear it away. Diaz. Well, they'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. And passing it through. A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Good work from Liverpool to win it back. Going well. He's got to score! It has to be! The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. And there we have it. We've reached the halfway mark now here by the banks of the Thames. Well, there's a good reason why we're hiding.